Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So today I'm going to show you how to fix issues where you're getting no sound or you're having audio issues on your Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, Note 8 or other similar devices. For example, on this device is, um, currently we're having an issue where no audio is being um, played. So I'm going to show you how to go through general troubleshooting tips to fix um, audio related um, issues. All right? So the first thing I'm going to do guys is to make sure that everything is working fine. I'll check the following. All right, so first I've recreated a situation just to show you one of the possible um, things that might be causing you not to have audio. All right, first of all, if um, in this case here, I'm just going to show you that there's no audio coming, meaning I'm getting no notification sounds, no ringtones, all audio has been um, just basically gone. All right, here I have um, audio playing in the background, as you can see, the music is actually playing. If I pause or play, I'm getting no audio, and it doesn't matter if I skip the tracks, nothing at all, I'm getting no audio at all. All right. And of course, the sound is turned on, the speakers are turned up and so on. And if I try to adjust the volume, as you can see here, I do get that message right there on screen. So let me just do it again. If I press volume up or volume down, it says turn off mute all sounds in accessibility and settings. All right? So that gives me a clue as to what's going on. So in order to disable that feature, just in case it's on, you may want to go to settings. Next, go to accessibility. There you go. And this one involves um, earring. So you're going to go to earring. And once you're in earring, make sure that this option is off. That's called mute all sounds. And it says turn off all sounds, including phone calls, even if the sound mode is set to sound. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And of course, there you go. I can go ahead and I can now adjust the volume. Now, another thing that might be causing you not to have audio is that you have turned the ringer all the way down and it's now on the profile that says um, basically sound is turned off and the only thing you're going to get is um, vibrations all right so you can just try turning up the sound all the way up if that doesn't work tap on that little arrow right there and make sure all of your sounds are turned up you have about um, four to five settings there so let me just show you that again just go right there tap on the arrow there make sure all of these are turned up to make sure you're getting all these sounds you can turn them all the way up to make sure that they are on and working all right so that's how to actually check that's one of the things you want to check to make sure that those um sound and notification all of those settings are either maxed out or turned up high enough all right another problem is that you might have a case where you're stuck in headphone mode if you're stuck in headphone mode your phone might be tricked into thinking there is a headphone plugged in what can be causing this that they're lint or there is dirt inside of the headphone jack if you can actually see it right here it's kind of dark but you do get the idea but if there is lint or dirt in the headphone jack or the microphone ports or the loudspeaker ports are blocked, it might be causing issues. So go ahead and clean these out. You can actually use a Q-tip or something like that. Get it in there and actually clean the port completely. Once you clean the port and get out all the lint and, of course, unblock the speaker grill, sound will start to play, uh, play once again. And I think you can actually do, guys, is to make sure that you... Um, back up your phone if all else fails if it's a setting related problem settings related problem you're going to go down to um, general management and of course you can go into reset and of course what you're going to do after backing up your data is to factory and data reset right which will wipe your device um, clean but another thing that could be causing your issue is that there is a hardware related issue where your speaker is damaged you'll need to actually take this into an expert or of course if you can actually do it you can disassemble and change out the speaker itself we should be able to fix the problem seeing that you have a new speaker if it's a speaker that's at um, fault all right guys so just make sure you actually go through all of that so that's just been a quick set of quick tips showing you how to actually um, get your device back to a functional state just make sure that you haven't missed anything make sure that the profile on your volume is turned all the way up and so on and everything is working and of course if you try all these tips in most cases just doing these troubleshooting tips should be able to track down the problem and fix the issue for you guys. So it's regardless of anybody until next time. Bye.